Hey guys, uh, this will probably be the hardest video I've ever made in my life. So, uh, if I cry, I cry. That's the way it is. Um, so I'll turn the camera around in a minute, but we had a, uh, fire, uh, Saturday night. Well, it'd been Sunday. It started at one thirty in the morning and, uh, well, I'll just show you. We lost our barn, all our animals. Every one of them died in the fire. Uh, we lost the garage, tractor, implements, everything. Lifetime of tools and you name it, <clears throat> my shed. They got fire department got here just in time to save the shed. So everything in my shed is saved. But as you can see, we're five minutes from the house catching on fire. The fire chief said, and it was actually a miracle that they, my son saw this fire at one thirty in the morning. He had a friend spend the night and uh, they were just up late. Happened to see it, you know, flickering in the window in the basement and just saw the reflections of something and uh, came out and the barn was totally engulfed. Uh, I can't imagine if he was sleeping in bed, what would have happened. Our cow, we would have lost everything, but absolutely devastated. I've cried so much over the last few days. It ain't even funny. Uh, I had to take all the animals out and, uh, Took them all out yesterday and actually had a, just buried them all today. Absolutely our life, you know. <clears throat> but he, I know a lot of people ask, we have, we have insurance and all that, so I'm not even worried about that. But it's just the, the loss of the animals was really a tough one. <clears throat> really, really hard. Um, but God is still on his throne and we trust in him. And I will say my faith and, uh, my, my faith in mankind has really been restored. I will say that we've had just unbelievable amount of support and love and food and just people have been, I mean, I can't even express how many people have helped and came up and, I mean, it's just been overwhelming, actually. God is good, and people are good. It's wonderful to have beautiful neighbors like ours who were over here that night in the middle of the night. You know, we didn't have coats on or anything. We all ran outside and, you know, giving us coats and bringing us food. And it was just <clears throat> taking our kids in their house. Um, all of our neighbors have been outstanding. I'm so blessed to have them. <clears throat> But, you know, motions run through. You know, what do you do? Where do you go from here? Uh, you know, this was our life. We, you know, the joy of it, just losing everything. Uh, <clears throat> you know, at least we didn't have any, the house didn't go and things like that. So we are very thankful for that. But, you know. Just to see it all just gone so quickly. It's just, it's hard to really stomach, really is. Um, where we go from here, we're definitely going to rebuild. I, I was thinking when it happened, obviously, I was like, let's just move and just start somewhere else. You know, obviously you're all emotional and all that, but <clears throat> I realized that you know, this is our dream to do this. And I'm not going to give up on that dream. And we're not going to do that. Um, but if you're out there and you're, you know, the Lord, you know, pray for us. Pray for uh, guidance. We haven't had power in a few days now because my power all ran to the garage and then underground to the house. So obviously that got in the fire. So 
you know, hopefully we'll have power in the next couple of days. I have a generator that my dad gave me, thankfully, because uh, mine burned up in the garage. And um, yeah, <laughs> kind of not much you can say other than please pray for us and uh, keep us in our thoughts. Uh, so many people have been encouraging. Um, sad day, sad uh, few days at the homestead. But God is on his throne and we trust in his will. And uh, we will praise him in this storm no matter what. Because he is good. So, yeah, I don't even know what to say. This is just a hard video. Really hard video. I've cried so much. It's just really hard. Really hard. I'm burying the animals today. That was, you know, my wife and kids can't do it. I had to get them all out by myself yesterday. And I needed to do that by myself because I just needed to deal with it. Getting them buried today, that was a, that was tough. But, uh, yeah, pray for us, please. God bless you all. Thank you all for your support. All you guys that have reached out. God bless you all.